Hello, my name is Jason Smith, and I'm the Outbound Product Manager for ITOM Health at ServiceNow. Today, we're going to go through how to use machine learning to onboard and manage applications with the AIOps platform. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a very simple dashboard. And the purpose of making this dashboard was to help us manage the CrowdStrike installation of the agent across different machines throughout the infrastructure. So in this case, I can see that there is one active OLA, there's four minutes left, and a one minute has elapsed uh, since, the, uh, since the OLA got kicked off. This is essentially telling me that I've got four minutes before an incident is going to be created. We have some metrics here. So in this case, this is for the CPU. This is really impact from the uh, CrowdStrike agent itself on the local machines, and also memory. And then there is some log data that we're able to get and pull into this dashboard also. In addition, we have these uh, alerts that we can take a look at. So the overall service has gone critical. There's one open alert. But how did we create this dashboard and what did we have to do to onboard the application? So first of all, um, there was no pattern or a way for us to identify the Falcon sensor, that agent from CrowdStrike on its own. There was no out-of-box content for that, it's an agent. Uh, but thankfully, we're using Discovery and it has a feature called application fingerprinting. So it was able to identify the application for me. And what I did was I clicked on this, found Falcon Sensor, and then ultimately just pressed Submit. This is uh, one of the results you can see here. So it gave things like a suggested group name. I could view the processes uh, that were ultimately being used. This is all correct, this is on Linux. It's running Falcon D. And then if we go back to the this page here, we can see that uh, when I had I mean, is essentially pressed submit before, it created a discovery pattern for me and also a CNDB class. Very importantly, it created something called a process classification. So let's take a look at the process classification. So this was created uh, through the application fingerprinting. And it says that um, basically when Falcon D is detected on a machine, it's going to kick off this probe, which will go and identify the, uh, the application running on the machine. It's very worthy to note that this process classification is also used by the agent client collector. So when agent client collector detects this process running on a machine, that application will automatically be entered into the CMDB. In addition, I will need some policies. So I'm looking now at the agent client collector policies. And what I'm trying to do is bring this application under monitoring. So I created a policy. And this policy is monitoring CIs of the type CrowdStrike. Happens to be running on three different agents. And then I have these check instances. So let's take a look at those. This first one is just to see if the process is running or not. And here's the configuration. All I had to do was say it, it would be critical if there is zero processes named uh, Falcon ID running. So if it's under one, then it would be a, a critical alert will be generated. And then I wanted to bring in some metrics. And the only thing I had to do here was use an, another out of the box check and just simply had to give the, the value of the, of, of the name. This is a, a running process that I'm looking for. And this will bring back a couple of different metrics uh, with regards to that running process. There is one more, and this was also just for metrics. And it happens to be uh, Falcon D. So Falcon D is the daemon, and Falcon Sensor is a child process on that machine. Okay, so that's the basics on how to set up the checks and the policies. And now I would like to show you how to make it available, the output available in the interface. So I need to make something called a metric view configuration. Okay, so this is my metrics view configuration. 
And if I looked at the metric types, these are the metric types that we're picking up for this class called uh, CloudStrike. So CPU percent, MEM percent, and if it's running or not, those different metrics. An additional step is to set up a metric configuration rule so I can tell the AIOS platform what to do with this data. So again, we will look for CrowdStrike. So this is a very simple configuration. We're just saying that when the configuration class is CrowdStrike, uh, then I want you to do some data processing with these metric type IDs, CPU percent, MEM percent, and running. And in this case, I have set the anomaly detection action level to IT alert. So if an anomaly is detected, it will create an IT alert for me. I could have chosen to just create anomaly alerts or just the scores or just the bounds or tell the platform to just uh, take in the metrics only. Now, that's the basic setup on how to get the data in. Um, I'm going to do an additional couple of steps here because ultimately I would like to do an automatic remediation. So I go to my event rules. So this is for event management. I have this very simple event rule for CrowdStrike. So the filter, very simple. The check name is os.linux check process and the policy name is Linux CrowdStrike. Then we've got a match. And then I want to transform and compose the alert. So I've added a manual attribute here called remediation action resource. And I've given the value of Falcon sensor. So that attribute will ultimately show up in additional information. It's part of the alert. Okay. So now it's on to alert management rules. Most of these alert management rules you see here are out of the box with the August 2022 release of the event management connector. Uh, the ones that don't start with ACC are uh, working agentlessly. The ones that start with ACC are, are ones that I've created myself. So let's dig into ACC start Linux service. This is the one we're gonna be using. This is the flow that will ultimately get, get kicked off when this alert happens. The flow is very simple. Um, the only thing I did was just copied uh, one of the uh, out of the box flows from the event management connector and did a very minor change. What you see here is the input to the subflow. This is really information about the alert. So the conditions are matched in the alert management filter and then this flow is kicked off. So we're just looking to see if a resource is empty. And then ultimately this is the command that we're going to run on agent client collector. So the important part is how do we know which command to run? So what we're doing in this case is we're doing some very simple parsing. So the first thing we want to do is create this attribute that is from the glide record that is the uh, alert itself. And we're interested in a specific attribute called additional info. Additional info happens to be in JSON. So we'll take that attribute and that value and parse it into a JSON object. And then we are going to return a string. So in this case, since the objective is to start the service, the string we will return is sudo system control start. And then this is where we're using that parameter that we created in a previous step, which is remediation action resource. So I go to my dashboard, look at CrowdStrike service, it's red. Drill into that. Open the critical alert. So this alert is on the CrowdStrike CI. And since we did the configuration earlier, we can take a look at the metrics. So these are the metrics specifically for the CrowdStrike agent that are running on that machine. We could also take a look at the Metric Explorer. There's other CIs running on that machine, like the Linux server and an Apache web server. 
So we can look for things like uh, Apache, busy workers, and then maybe CPU steel. Just an example of some of the metrics that we can pull back, but the primary focus was how do we get metrics specific to a brand new onboarded application into the IOS platform. So I've got a few playbooks here. These were these are showing up here because of the alert management rule. So I could create an incident or do any number of things really. Uh, one thing I'd like to do is uh, just show that we can run something like Linux top via the agent. So that's executed. Go back to the details here, and we can see that top was run. Okay. And in this case, what I want to do is ultimately just start that service that's been stopped. We could fully automate this process, but in this case, I want to be able to start it manually. So I'll click this, and that is going to start the service that was stopped. In addition, we have logs that have been taken in. This has been taken in via syslog. So some of the actions that are happening with regards to the uh, CrowdStrike agent are being logged in syslog. So we're just picking those up automatically. And in this case, what I wanted to do is um, just do a very simple Lucene query, look on this machine uh, with anything in regards to uh, Falcon sensor in the logs. Let's take the last 12 hours. And that will bring back a number of different matches. So if an anomaly is detected within these logs, ultimately we will get an anomaly alert. So back to the um, back to the dashboard, the OLA is no longer in progress, so it's it's no longer showing up here. So we, we beat the clock on that one. Just want to show you real quick how we can easily make these uh, dashboards. So I'm in the platform analytics workspace. I've just made a very simple custom dashboard. And what I've done is just added a few new elements with the data visualization. In this case, this is for metrics. So we'll take a look here, configure, and then we can see the data source. So I can go into data source. And for these visualizations, we can choose tables, indicators, and look in the metrics space or save searches from health log analytics or report on components um, that uh, health log analytics is aware of. So what we did in this case was we just used uh, see, um, the metric base to pull out metrics very specific to, um, uh, to, um, to CrowdStrike. So name starts with Falcon is the condition when the configuration name is it starts with Falcon. Actually the name, yeah. Okay, so cancel that. Discard any changes. So very simple to use machine learning to onboard new applications into the iOS platform. Very simple configuration to start getting the metrics and vents and logs in also. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the show.